G YouTube. It's your boy Black Chat Three Long Face Skinny Body, and we back still black with some more fireballs on anime manga content. Not forget the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash the like button, share the video with your friends, and let's get right to the business because I know y'all see the thumbnail. <laughs> So now that we have Boruto chapter 67 out the way, I feel like it's a good time for me to introduce this onto the channel, which is something that I've been meaning to talk about for a little bit now. And ultimately, it's also going to have tie-ins into my eventual video I will drop, which is the Boruto Timeskip Part 2 video, because I've been dropped the first changes coming in Boruto Timeskip video, and I had plans to drop the second one literally just a few weeks after. But then we've been getting so many different developments throughout the chapters that it just completely made me reconstruct the video multiple times on occasion so that's just until that time comes ever we have boruto versus kawaki and there's a whole lot of aspects we need to look into this whole boruto versus kawaki and i first and i felt like the best way for me to introduce this onto the channel was for me to just simply bring out the mere fact of the battle that's going down in chapter one episode one of the boruto series that we've been basically on a time on a time clock counting down towards with boruto introducing the story his future self telling us okay this is how the story started off with him and his dad and how it became into his story ultimately and he wasn't always a bratty kid so now we got in all of these different developments the introduction of the karma's hill the introduction of uh kawaki coming into the village uh so many different things unfolding unraveling connections parallels to the otosuki clan to more threats uh to the scientific technology and those crazy and rapid developments into the ninja world all of this all of this is counting down to the inevitable destruction we see at the beginning of the hidden leaf village and we see a karma seal boruto versus a karma seal kawaki now there's been questions ever since ishiki died kawaki lost his karma seal speculations of how that relates to a model giving kawaki back his karma seal speculations to how is boruto still alive and kicking if he's already 82 percent otsutsuki otsutsuki momoshiki to be per precise how is he still alive and kicking in the future and now we actually have the answers to both of those questions we understand in that scene that's kawaki with his new weaponized karma seal that a model reconstructed after he gave him back his arm cold was the trigger to awaken that boruto's case he was killed off by this man kawaki after awakening this new karma seal momoshiki was put into a rock in a hard place keep your soul alive and give up taking over boruto's body or just die altogether with this nigga boruto so he was like fuck you i'm gonna let my soul linger on to the world gave boruto what would be essentially different from kawaki's because yes it functions as a weaponized karma seal but it's like a fully decompressed karma seal that has no otsutsuki dna to eventually take over boruto's body so boruto is now 100 percent fully otsutsuki kawaki is 80 percent otsutsuki what's going down in the future between these niggas what's going down in the a town why is the village destroyed there's been so many theories and i feel like it's very 100 percent accurately debunked that kawaki is being controlled in that starting scene I believe we see both fully conscious boruto both fully conscious kawaki and a battle of ideals is unfolding before our eyes and the basis is already being starts the minute when boruto was killed off by kawaki it's already starting the rift and the shift between the relationship of the two most people would think like well that was kind of their plan boruto already went along with it but then you can see how the small sudden changes or i really want to say changes but small instances that is reverting kawaki back to his original character traits his original personality traits ever since this karma was awakened how nonchalant and how quickly he is to make a decision without any hesitation as opposed to coming across figures like delta coming across figures like uh boro even this nigga jigen himself saying like kawaki you really changed my nigga ever since coming across this nigga not all of that shit just went out the window that he came across naruto as soon as this karma so awakens now mm, it's so hard to talk about these things that are occurring and not bring up this sussy ass nigga amato and say like well obviously his connections are very 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 deep into the matter thing is we see kawaki kind of reverting back to his old ways and showing us at the end of the day despite all of this development we get especially in the anime and when all of this shit gets adapted into the anime is gonna be even crazier it's like 
push comes to shove, I've already made up my mind. This nigga Naruto is gonna be the only one who stays alive. Like, fuck it, if everybody else needs to die. And Kabuki's made that clear. He's telling Cody, he's telling everybody. He's like, nigga, I'm killing Boruto. You think I won't? Or like, what makes you think? And that's actually a good explanation there. Like, what makes you think I won't kill you, Cody? You like, what the fuck is he talking about? See the drift between these niggas, Boruto and Kawaki. And there's a couple of things that we can look at and pinpoint first of all with boruto being the opposing side or as most people would like to say probably the villain or maybe anti-hero in his own story kawaki being the one kind of putting that stance for the hidden leaf village as we see per their personalities but then we can also easily flip the roles again and then we can also say well since we understand momoshiki's influence has been greatly diminished it would be hard to see boruto in that scene as being the villain maybe repercussions of possibly a short and an unexpected unbeknownst momoshiki takeover and boruto's like well that shit ain't gonna happen again i really don't feel like that's gonna be the case where it's gonna be still an issue of boruto having random instances where he's not controlling his body and he's gonna do some crazy ass crazy ass shit it can tie into the fact that boruto adjusting to his ultimate 100 percent otsuki body and they're ultimately both going through changes and they're standing firm on their ideals and we can see in chapter one of episode one it's not necessarily a battle of hey i don't really see any 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 of that same tension that we seen between naruto and sasuke where it's like nigga like you know like what's what time it is bro like cut this shit out let's get it let's get to it you feel me with boruto and kabuki it's really a sense of understanding that damn this is really it this is how it has to be and this is how it's gonna have to be and boruto's case understanding like you really did what you did and relation to him saying i never think you will go this far kawaki you really did what you did and now we're here like this has to be it and kawaki's stance is like i told you and it's like this is going to be the only way you had opportunity to cooperate but you chose to not cooperate so yes this is the only way that's what we can see where they start to clash heads and the fight ultimately begins now this can ultimately tie into the fate of the shinobi world because at this current point there's nobody stronger than kawaki boruto is creeping up into that level once he's tapping into that power that momoshiki was able to have and access to once he was in control of boruto's body then we have another discussion right now it goes kawaki and then i ain't gonna lie other than kawaki i don't see nobody ada and dam is out the mix right now other than that i don't see nobody really boxing boruto when he accesses his stage two because karma because he still has the karma just because momoshiki did all of that shit doesn't mean he automatically forgot how to access all of that power like he should still be with it and then the whole thing of amato pills we should still be thinking about how to take that into account man they need to bring back the boroshiki form and i need to understand is it going to be the now nah, nah, it's time for the conversation to come back is it going to be the byakigan or is it going to be the jogan however their ideals are going to be facing off in the future and we understand there's going to be a whole lot of things that play in a role now will it be boruto in a sense fighting to save the shinobi world which most likely will be the case or fighting to preserve the shinobi ways which i honestly can see that development being further um further expanded on because we've been dealing with this since the start of the series the difficulties of scientific ninja tools and traditional natural ninjutsu coexisting and understanding with there's individuals who believe okay fuck all that scientific shit is straight up hand signs and we even fuck you talking about individuals who's like no big brain jutsu nigga what are you talking about and then this niggas is like sasuke and naruto like let's come together you feel me and bring a whole different type of weather and boruto is ultimately coming to that understanding but still being able to say i'm staying true to my ninja way staying true to my shinobi way and i feel like kawaki is just in a sense it's like bro i was just never cut out to be a ninja and that's really the thing is he was just never cut out to be a ninja so there's going to be a crazy ass decision to be made whether it's whatever whatever side or stance the other is on whatever position they are at unclear definitely going to be talking about that more in the next video with this whole entire boruto versus kawaki series but right now we got to understand that there there is a decision to be made where they both feel like okay this can be ultimately changing of the world and maybe possibly boruto wants to preserve something preserve a way of something and ultimately to help the better of the shinobi world whereas kaoki we gotta destroy and build bro in a sense like a phoenix out with the old in with the new and essentially to destroy and build there has to be destruction so regardless of the fact kind of similar to what pain and and other notorious villains of the naruto verse thought but 
kind of in a different way where it's like Kawaki experienced the life he tries he tries now we still don't know what ultimately triggers that and Momoshiki even gives us that he what ultimately is going to trigger and we don't even know if that is the situation that Momoshiki is warning about but still we don't know what triggers this split between Kawaki and Boruto to ultimately say like oh yeah now we finna really really fight in in front of the destroy hidden leaf village that we both essentially called our home so there's going to be a whole lot of developments and issues that are going to be parallel and diving deeper into the relationship with these two but we definitely see in the start of the rift at the end of chapter 67 it's going to be a battle of ideals essentially everybody has been coming to that conclusion where it's just not really a Kawaki's being taken over thing Boruto is probably the villain of the story still can be an anti-hero can be possibly just returning to the village in a sense and Kawaki's like you've never been here it's still going to be a battle of ideals and there's going to be a divide of where maybe possibly what they both believe they should do in a certain situation ultimately for the better of everyone else around them or it can just be strictly what is lying with Kawaki is like he's changed ever since he got this artificial or not artificial but his new karma still back and it's ultimately bringing out his side of once he's made up his mind about a goal there's not going to be anything to stop it he's not going to go back on his ninja word or his word or should i say his warrior word since he's you know what i'm saying the age of shinobi is over but hey to my next video bro a whole lot more developments to talk about this whole entire tension that's going to be slowly building and blowing up in all of our faces between Boruto and Kaoki. What are your thoughts below? How do you think you see the developments rising? How do y'all honestly see them going about themselves and just going about society in chapter 68 and the ultimate division between Boruto and Kawaki is going to come up? Because at this point, it's like they've been built up to be like so much close to each other where it's hard to see, okay, what can ultimately divide them? Whereas versus Naruto and Sasuke, it's always been obvious. There's going to be tension between them two niggas. With Boruto and Kawaki, they were introduced through tension, but then ultimately their personalities, they just get along with each other. You feel me? So there's still going to be a whole lot more to look into that. But to my next video, I'll let you I'll let y'all black child. Yes, sir. Hey, can we take a trip to the sky? Show them that our limits too high. Coco the hips on the wrist, she said